Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network, and today I'm doing a product review of the HP Spectre line laptop. It's the Spectre XT uh, Ultrabook. That's also a touch smart uh, laptop, so it's got all sorts of, the name is quite long. Uh, so it's officially the Model 15-4010NR is the, the one I purchased specifically. And I will note this wasn't given to me. I'm not uh, a professional reviewer or anything. This is something I have purchased uh, for work and travel and things like that. And it meets all the requirements that I had with my, my new laptop uh, you know, purchase requirements. So let's go over a few things about what I like about this laptop and why I bought it uh, now that I've had you know, roughly a day and a half to play with it. First, uh, you can see it's, uh, it's pretty wide. I, I don't know how easily it is to translate that over video, but you know it's a 15.6 inch screen diagonal, so it's pretty decent on the width. But it is quite thin at the same time. So, in fact, I'll just put like a, a fingernail up there to see about the, the width of this laptop. So it is quite thin, and it gets even thinner on the side. You know, as it starts to taper off towards the, the front of the laptop, which is nice. And it's uh, just under 5 pounds, like 4.96 pounds or something. So they can say it's under 5, but it is quite light uh, for the size. And it's got a pretty nice, uh, like a polished, brushed um, aluminum feel to it, which is kind of new for me in the PC world. I know the those in the Mac world have enjoyed that kind of finish for quite some time, but uh, I have not. So it looks pretty sharp, and on the bottom, it's just kind of a, a, a soft gray. You know, I can't quite describe how it feels. It's like got a little bit of a, a rubbery feel to it almost, but not. Uh, but it's nice. There's nothing unpleasant about it, and it's got these uh, four little feet rimmed in like kind of a, a silver plastic there. So it's pretty nice, and they, they, they added the little embellishments here. There's, you know, it says like a Spectre on the bottom, and the, the top has... The nice little HP logo and the the matte uh, the micro you know microfiber pouch that it comes with is embroidered with Spectre XT. So you know they've definitely spent the time to make this thing feel pretty nice. Um, the kind of downside from having a laptop for a long time that that was a, a full-on PC is uh, it does have ports for video. So we've got an HDMI port, we've got a Thunderbolt port which I think uh, is, has typically been more in the Apple world. And we've got a pair of USB 3.0 ports as well as a RJ45. Great. What are you missing? There's no VGA port. And that makes sense that VGA is kind of going the way of the, the Dodo. But uh, So you'll need to make sure here that you've got an HDMI to VGA converter if you're doing presentations because typically that's what they use, those 15-pin D-sub connectors. But what is kind of nice is it actually has a physical... Um, uh, RJ45 connector there, so when you're having to connect in, you know, if you're not using the wireless, you don't have to use an adapter for that. Yay. Uh, and if you want to use the Thunderbolt for something, I don't even have anything that could use Thunderbolt, so I'm not sure where the value is at for me personally, but uh, if that's your thing, there it is. And as you can see on the other side, we got an SD card uh, slot, the audio, the USB 2 port, uh, the power connector, and the locking uh, port. So three USBs, two are uh, 3.0, one is 2.0. Uh, and the Thunderbolts. There's a lot of connectivity on this particular laptop. So the real big reason that I bought it was it has an HD screen. It can do 1920 by 1080, you know, true 1080p screen uh, for the size and the power. You get about four hours-ish. Uh, it's, it's advertised like 3.75, but typically I found that a little conservative because I'm not just sitting there with the screen open all the time. Uh, but you do get a full 1080p on the screen. And I'll show some screenshots of the laptop uh, in my review, but this just kind of shows you what you're going to get from a physical aspect. Now I will go ahead and let's see if I can pop the uh, the cover here. This is not a cover that you can do with one finger. As you can see, it just doesn't come up, and when it does, it starts to kind of, you know, come up with it. It's just not quite that way. It's a two-hander, so you're going to have to, you know, stabilize it with one hand and then pull it open with the other, um, in case that's important to you. I suppose it can be annoying, but I guess you'd get used to it. Um, I'm going to try to turn it a little bit without mirroring everything that's on my monitor here, so that's about good. So one thing you'll notice, it is it is backlit. Uh, all the keys here have uh, all the backlighting on them, which is nice. And 
the F5 key controls that. So I hit that, you'll see there went fade away. It's kind of cool the effect, you know, as you hit it, it kind of slowly comes on, slowly comes off. But the F5 key, uh, right there, you can see it's kind of glowing a little brighter. It's always lit, so you can find it. Uh, I've got it muted right now. That's why the mute button is orange, and then the Wi-Fi is on, so that one's lit. So very minimal lights. If you're, you know, working in a plane or something, you want to be courteous. You can you can turn that off. Or if you just want to be that guy, you can turn it on. Doesn't really matter. I guess the screen will be bright enough anyways that who cares. Um, it's got the logos on there for Beats, the Beats audio. I played with the music. Uh, basically, with the Beats on, it sounds really good. And there's a speaker bar right here. It's all speakers coming out of here. With the Beats off, it sounds horrible. So I suppose there's some value there. At least the equalizer that Beats comes with uh, seems to do pretty good. I didn't buy this for anything audio or, or video, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. But... Uh, I definitely noticed the difference. The touchpad on this is nice. It's the full, you know, multi-gesture touchpad where, you know, at least for me, this is new. I have not played with one of these before. But, you know, as you're scrolling around, you see the, the mouse growing around here. If you just press in, it clicks. Or then you use two fingers to right-click. You can drag with two fingers up and down to scroll up and down. And, and this is probably stuff, you know, people that stay a little more up-to-date on laptops are more used to than myself. I've had a dog laptop for a long time so uh, this has been a long overdue upgrade so that's pretty cool and it's also branded it's got the whole Intel Core i7 sticker as well as the Ultrabook sticker you can remove those I guess pretty plain as far as up here just a power button which I like it's very clean uh, there's not it's not all buttony looking um, that's about it for the mouse pad area the touch pad the screen the screen again is 1080p it looks phenomenal so I have a like a 23 inch or 24 inch monitor in my desktop and this has the same resolution which I think is pretty cool e either my my screen is a little crappy or this is just really awesome but I'm very happy to get uh, 1080p on a laptop because typically uh, I was running you know 1024 by 640 or something really lame where you could barely see anything on the screen uh, the one thing I do want to point out that you may not like is you can see right here where I've got the up and down arrow buttons they actually share so we got here's the left button here's up and down and here's the right button so if you're looking to go up and down on the keyboard it shares one button space and I've noticed I, I tend to just mash it thinking it's up or I go up here to shift thinking up is there and you'll have to get used to that I guess uh, I've heard a lot of griping about it and I'll say it's annoying but it sounds like something you could get past pretty quick by learning it other than that the keyboard is nice and big Good spacing. The, the keys feel good when I'm when I'm clicking them. They're they're not too resistant or too easy. You know, not like that. Sometimes you get those scissor keys that that just go in way too easily and they don't feel like they really press. But uh, these feel pretty good. Um, and it definitely supports all the the cool Windows 8 stuff. It's fully touch enabled. Um, so if I go in here, so let's see if I can get some of this on the screen. I can I can move it around using that. I can click in to do a keyboard and the keyboard comes up. So I could, I'm not going to type my password on video here, but uh, you, could, you could go that route. Or if I click a key, it immediately hides the keyboard. So it's pretty intelligent about understanding what you're trying to do, you know, if you're trying to click in the keyboard. And the response is awesome. It has the gesture support. supports having the charms coming off on the side. You know, the Windows 8, Windows 8 really takes advantage of the touch, and, and, it's, and it's quite interesting to have the touch. And I find sometimes it's just easier. Um, not so much when I'm doing file browsing or something, but perhaps I'm answering some questions like next, 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 next. I don't have to mess around with the touchpad, which is nice. Or if I want to grab some photos, I can pinch and zoom and things like that, um, which is pretty darn cool. So the touch works really, really well. And I think with Windows 8, it helps kind of aid your experience. So as far as my use case, I'll be, again, uh, this is basically mobile workstation and mobile VMware lab. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. That's a SATA hard drive, and on the front end it has a 32 gig flash cache. So it's going to perform sort of like an SSD, but not entirely, like a hybrid drive almost. Uh, so the 500 gig should be plenty to, to run you know, a decent number of virtual machines. The 8 gigs of memory, probably not. Uh, you'd want to grab a memory upgrade kit, and uh, Crucial sells that for, I think, 80 bucks. You can get 16 gigs of RAM. And it's pretty much a matter of, there's a number of these little uh, Phillips head screws. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. You just go around, undo the screws, and this whole thing pops up. 
and then there you go you've got access to the entire laptop it's really not it's not like that weird thing where you shim in a piece of plastic into the side and pop open this clasp and all that kind of junk um, so it's not as easy as it used to be like my old one you just had a little button that you swipe left and right and it would open it not quite that easy but uh, not that hard either just make sure you have a very small Phillips head screwdriver to get into these little screws without stripping them thank you for watching this video if you found the information valuable make sure to click the like button and if you'd like to see more videos on my channel please become a subscriber for more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.